Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to our course play tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the seeding and fertilizer mode right here. So if the field hasn't been scanned yet, what you need to do is you need to hit the calculate current fields edge path, like so. And as you can see, we have a blue line around the field that's showing that that's the current path. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and use my using my scroll wheel on my mouse, or you can use a plus and negative sign here with your left click button. I'm going to set this to field path 25. So in this case, it's already scanned the field, but I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it just in case here. So now we have this path around the edge of the field set up. So the next step you need to do is you need to go into the course generation. So in this case, I want to select field 25. So I'm going to go use my scroll wheel, or you can use your up and down arrow with left clicking here. So in this case, field 25, user. So the working with is how wide your implement is. So in this case, I know this particular seeder is six meters. So I'm going to set my seeding width to about 5.9. So there's a little bit of overlap, just in case anything is needs to be missed or anything that gets missed gets run over, just in case. And I want to set my starting corner to the north east corner. So remember, on this map, the way it is is the top of the map is north, the e right side of the map is east, south. And then west. So in this case, I am in the northeast corner. So I want to start in the northeast corner and I want the direction to go south in this context. And you just left click here to change those right there. So left clicking just changes that. And so I want northeast and then left click for starting direction. You can also set it so it goes west as well. It just depends on what your preference is. Do you want it to return to the first point in this case? Yes, I do. So you just left click. So if I deactivate this, wherever it finishes, it'll stop there. If I set it to activate, it'll return to where it first started. So yes, in this case, I want it to start. I want it to return to that first point. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and generate a course. Okay, so I've generated a course, and as you can see, I have a little stop sign right there where the starting of the course is. So that's the starting of the course right there. Okay, so in this particular seeder, I don't have any seed, but I have the I have it set up so it automatically fills the seed. So let's see what happens here. So let's go ahead and set it to first waypoint now, going back into this section right here by left clicking. I'm going to set it to the first waypoint and click drive. So ridge markers are going to be set to, you can change that to automatic or manual. I'm going to set it to manual right now. You just change it by left clicking once again. So there you go. He's dropped the seeder and now he is currently seeding. So what will happen is because there was no seed in that seeder, he is actually buying the seed. So if I were to go into my uh, statistics or my finances, we should see some purchase seed here. Uh, where it is? Seed costs. So you can see the seed costs slowly going up because what's happening is that worker is using the seed as he goes along. So he's just automatically purchasing the seed. So what will happen is once he goes up and down the field, and if you want to see what the path looks like, what you can do is you can go into th uh, this section right here where the little cog is and you can click this right here by left clicking you'll see exactly where the tractor is going to go so as you can see it has little arrows that point in the direction that the tractor is going to go in okay so you can take that off you can leave it on and you can change the open hud so in this case the right now if i close the hud i open it with my right mouse button but you can also make it so it's left control and delete all right so now the worker is going to turn around here He's going to head back in the other direction in a second here. So as you can see, he's making a big turn because that is the way it's set up right now. So remember, this is still in beta, so we'll probably we'll fix this. So he's going straight there. What will happen is he will probably, oh, he's going to back up and set up the cedar right at the edge there. And then he's going to get that little bit at the edge there and go straight forward. So this is actually a change from 2015 to 2017. This is they never used to do this in 17 or 15, sorry, but this is a change in 17. So it detects the edge of the field and it lines up and sets it back down just like that. So he's going to go back in the other direction. So that is how he seeds the field in this context. And because we set it up so it's activated, that returns to the first point. Once he's all done, he'll return to the northeast corner of the field. So that is how you set up a seeder. It would be the same thing for fertilizer, for solid fertilizer, for slurry, for any of the other fertilizers or seeders would be exactly the same way. You just need to adjust the width for what you want to use. 
So that's how you use that feature. That's the seeding and fertilizing feature. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment below with what you would like to see next. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys later.